Hello everyone and welcome back to Bamboo Bot 2 on YouTube. This is Fred Hornaday from BambooBot2.com. If you like hearing about bamboo topics, definitely check out my website, BambooBot2.com. There's a link down below. And if you need help with a bamboo project somewhere in the world, uh, perhaps we can work together. That'd be great. Let me know. Today, I've got a very interesting topic. I'm feeling very ambivalent about this one. And I should mention that ambivalence is not my favorite emotion. So please bear with me. Bamboo pellets, bamboo pellets for biomass energy. Real interesting topic. If you've been following me and Bamboo Batu for uh, any significant amount of time, you may have seen me earlier in spring 2022 promoting bamboo pellets like this for fuel, bamboo energy pellets, replace coal, save trees, use bamboo. It was something I was pretty excited about for a while. And I'll tell you why. There's a lot of reasons to be excited about it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there was a war going on. The war is still going on. As of now, we are in um, January 2023. At least by the time this goes live on YouTube, it will be January 2023. And the war between Russia and Ukraine wages on. And as you probably have heard, there are international sanctions against Russia and Russian exports. Um, the most important of which would be food products like wheat and energy products like natural gas and petroleum. And this is causing an energy crisis throughout the world, especially in Europe. Uh, that's a German flag there and that's a Russian flag and they're connected by an energy pipeline fuel pipeline. And as that knob in the middle gets twisted and twisted, the fuel supply is getting cut off. And this is causing a serious energy crisis in the world. People are trying to figure out what are we going to do for our energy? Um, honestly, this is a question people should have been really working on at least 50 years ago, figuring out what we're going to do about our energy. It's not like it's a new issue. It's been going on since at least the 1970s. I remember waiting in gas lines sitting in the back of my mom's car, uh, waiting in line to buy gas because of the, uh, energy, energy crisis going on back then. Anyway, um, it's a crisis for sure. So there's another crisis. Um, this is more of a positive crisis, but, um, they are converting many of the old coal power plants to run on biomass. Uh, what happened is a lot of those coal power plants got shut down in the last uh, 10 years or so because they were horribly polluting, um, burning coal, as we now know. I know newsflash, burning coal is not good for the air, uh, but no, it's not. And so they closed down lots of these power plants, which is a good thing. But because of the energy crisis, uh, the current situation with Russia, they are having to reopen these power plants. The good news, if there is good news, is that those power plants are not being reintroduced to run on coal again, but they're being brought back online to run on biomass, which is still burning natural material. Um, but you're burning, you're burning trees instead of burning fossil fuels. So it's, it's a bit, it's a bit better. Um, so they make these pellets like this billions and billions of pellets. And they're shipping these pellets around the world to fuel these power plants. And so I thought, Hey, bamboo could be pretty good for that. Bamboo is a great source of biomass and it's better than cutting down trees. Um, uh, pellets are used very widely. Um, the, the power plants, um, the demand for pellets has been enormous. Uh, after I started promoting this product, uh, this idea, people from around the world started contacting me and wanting pellets, like boatloads of pellets, literally thousands and thousands of tons of pellets. And I had to say, Whoa, <laughs> bamboo pellets is a good idea. But if you want thousands and thousands of tons of bamboo pellets, you know, on a regular basis, filling up boats, shipping across the sea, uh, there's, uh, this introduces some, some new logistical issues, but the pellets are a big deal. These are bags of pellets, uh, in Europe last year, I was, uh, last few years, I was living in the Spanish Pyrenees up in the mountains and we were using these bags of pellets, uh, to fuel our residential heating unit. 
and I think they're about 30 kilos for a bag. And we'd go through one or two bags a day. We were going through a lot of these pellets and we used to be able to buy these bags for about four euros a bag. Price now is around 11 or 12 euros a bag. So the, the crisis is real. The demand uh, supply disconnect is definitely visible when you go and buy these pellets. And um, I've got crazy stories about these pellets, but, but uh, we'll stick to the topic here. Um, yeah, we, we went through a lot of the pellets and carrying these bags uh, in the winter when there's ice all over the ground. Uh, through a little uh, little village where the streets are closed because of the snow. Um, you can imagine the, the problems that I encountered. Uh, but no broken bones, so it's all good. Um, so biomass, shortage biomass abundance. So bamboo is an amazing source of biomass. It grows so fast, you cut it, it grows right back. You can make a lot of biomass. But whether or not you can make thousands and thousands of tons of biomass with bamboo is another question. Um, but compared to cutting down trees, which is where most of these pellets come from, the vast majority of uh, wood pellets for these, uh, residential units, as well as fueling these power plants, it's coming from trees. And now if you're like me, you think, yeah, I don't want to cut down trees for energy, but you're also like, yeah, I don't want to be freezing cold in the winter. So what are you going to do? It's, it's tricky. Um, it's a tricky balance. So yeah, how about we cut down bamboo instead? So it seems like a good idea. Um, but you know, all the, all those bamboo pellets, they're not, they're not cutting down trees. I mean, the wood pellets, they're not just cutting down trees to make the pellets. What they're doing is they're using the, uh, the fine material, the sawdust from lumber mills primarily. Um, also the, the small branches, the twisted branches, the knotty wood, uh, a naughty as in like K-N-O-T-T, -T, not the naughty, 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 not the misbehaving wood, but the wood that's got knots in it. That's not good for building, um, that stuff. They, they grind that down or they just use the sawdust that's already ground down, which is the best because they're not using energy to grind it. It's already just the sawdust all over the floors in the, in the sawmills. They gather all that up and pelletize it. And so by using that, they are eliminating waste. They're using up the waste stuff that would otherwise go into a landfill or maybe it'll get mulched somewhere. Um, so they're not just cutting down old growth trees to make the pellets. So that made me think, well, that's not so bad. Um, maybe we don't need to go and try to harvest uh, all this bamboo to do that. Uh, the other thing is the machinery to do the bamboo pellets, it's, it's a bit energy intensive. And so if you're using a ton of energy to make the pellets so that you can burn them to get energy or heat out of it, then at some point you have to calculate how much energy are we using? How much energy are we getting out? And if it takes more energy to make the pellets, than you get out of the pellets, you're no longer uh, engaged in a sustainable uh, earth saving activity. So, um, that calculation I have yet to perform because the measuring how much energy it takes to turn bamboo into pellets is complicated. Uh, for one thing, if you're, if you're making pellets from like virgin bamboo, just cutting down poles, crushing them first, and then sticking it back together, that's one thing. If you're using, um, bamboo scraps and bamboo sawdust from sawmills, then that's another thing. Um, and then, and then there's the binder, the, the stuff that sticks, that makes the pellets stick together. Um, my understanding is it's a little bit trickier to get the bamboo dust to stick together. So if they have to add something to the bamboo, then again, you're looking at maybe compromising the, uh, environmental, uh, integrity of the project. These are, these are all questions. I'm not sure what the answers are. Um, I'm still a little bit on the fence about it, but there's, it's a lot more complicated than just, yeah, let's cut down bamboo. And so I cut down trees and so I solved the energy problem with the, with the war in Russia. I wish it were that simple. If it were, I would be, um, out in the street, waving my arms saying, Hey, look, everybody bamboo, but seriously, uh, but seriously, actually I do, I do sometimes stand in the street and wave my arms to promote bamboo because 
I'm really into bamboo. What can I say? Uh, here I am on YouTube once again, another week of great bamboo video. So, um, so yeah, I promote it, but I'm also not, uh, I'm not blind to the possible drawbacks and to do bamboo properly. We need to be aware of all the pros and cons. And so at this point, I'm not hundred percent sure if it's worth it to pursue this. Uh, one final point is that if you are going to pursue this, you need to invest a whole lot of money in getting some really good machinery to do it the most efficiently. And if it turns out, uh, the war in Russia ends in six months and the energy crisis disappears, uh, it's pretty unlikely that the energy crisis is going to go away. But if this, um, if this current situation is just a temporary blip, um, and you've made this enormous investment and the, which is not going to pay off in the long run because the, the, the forestry resources from Russia come back on the market and the, uh, the small bamboo producer cannot compete with that. Then you wasted a lot of time, money and energy into something. Uh, so that's one other thing to take into consideration. So yay or nay on the bamboo pellets. I don't know. Again, this is the, uh, the, uh, another one of the promotional things I made. Uh, about uh, six or eight months ago. I thought it was pretty cool. Resist Russia, save trees, use bamboo. Um, I still think it's a good message, but we need to really uh, look at the details before we get into massive uh, scaling of bamboo pellet production. So think about that. If you have any insights, comments, uh, something I overlooked, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm always looking to learn more about bamboo. I don't claim to have all the answers. And so I'm here to learn from you as you are to learn from me. So I hope you have learned from me again. If you want to learn more bamboobatu.com, check it out. You can subscribe to our channel here on YouTube as well. Tons of bamboo information out there. And if you need one-on-one -on -one counseling consulting, I'm available for that as well. And that's about it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.